the central office of the political petition zone, and it's going to like be published as a little bit less powerless than the United States. It's a bad increase now, it's just coming to the European Union. It's remarkable when you look at the prevalence of refractive errors. It actually starts going up through those teen years, and then what it does is it stabilizes throughout the adult years, and then as we get to those presbyopic years, it actually escalates exponentially to the point where by the time we're 45 to 50, almost everybody needs some type of refractive correction in particular to help with those pres presbyopic symptoms. Well, what's remarkable is when you look at the number of contact lens wearers, we certainly do see an increasing trend in those teen years and then adult patients are certainly wearing contact lenses, but for those patients who need refractive correction most, those presbyopes, we see this sudden decline in the amount of patients that are currently wearing contact lenses. This is a remarkable opportunity to help patients with that unmet need. So when you get into your practice, or if you are in practice right now, and you're not paying attention to these patients and not offering them contact lenses, that's really the first step, because we know that a majority of these individuals are interested in wearing contact lenses. Make sure that you understand part of the reason that they've discontinued lens wear prior to that before even communicating that with us, and that is usually because of comfort issues with the contact lenses. Also, because they never knew to explain to us that we may have had decreased vision or that they may have had decreased vision and that we had opportunities to correct that. They thought that the only way that they could correct their presbyopia was through reading glasses over top of their distance corrected contact lenses. We need to educate them that there are other options that are available, specifically contact lenses, to help them wear those contact lenses most appropriately. And ultimately, make sure you're fine-tuning the type of contact lens that's best suited for that individual. And for presbyopes, it's usually multifocal contact lenses. We have the opportunity to educate these patients at every single opportunity we can, every single time we come in contact with them. Keep that in mind for, for the emerging practitioners, for those of you that are in school and are going to be going into practice here relatively soon, and even for you that have been in practice for the last several years, keep that in mind and understand that this is an unmet need and we can provide help to these patients and help them function better in their real environments.